Good day everyone, my name is Jason Matthews from Ebon Business Solutions. Thank you for joining me in this quick training session. In this video, I'll be showing you the capabilities from F&B Instant Accounting on how to create sales quotes. In my previous videos, I've shown you how to use F&B Instant Accounting and it is a basic bookkeeping software for F&B business clients. Unfortunately, it does not integrate with other systems. So it is meant for simple bookkeeping and reporting functionalities. So let's get started. So once you have logged into your F&B Instant Accounting, I would like you to go to the Debtors tab. And under the Debtors tab, go to More. And over there, you'll see a whole list of documents that you can create. You've got the pro forma invoice, the sales order, the sales quote. And today I'm going to show you how to do the sales quote. And once you've learned how to use the sales quote, it is a bit more easier to work on a sales order and a pro forma invoice. Once the sales quote opens up, you will see information that you'd like the potential client to see, as in the date, what is the description of the service. There is a partner reference where you can um, create a list of clients and you can pull that through into the sales quote. Then you've got the postal and delivery address. And if there's any VAT that's applicable for the client, and then you can start adding in your categories of different types of services or goods. And in this particular case, I'm using professional services and, um, there's the hourly rate and if you have VAT, you can add VAT as well and it calculates the VAT amount for you. And then finally, you can see this is the, the total amount including VAT. And then you can put through the email address that you want the sales quote to be sent to. Then there are two views. The view that you saw the previous slide was the detailed view. Now we're looking at the normal view where you can still provide more information here. And then in the invoice, you can have a bit of a message in the email. And at the bottom, it's exactly what we saw on the previous slide where you're describing your service line or your product line. Then once you've completed the sales quote, it's saved onto the system and you can see it under the document explorer. So you can see the date, you can see it provides a unique number. Um, the partner, I've just used an example of test and this is the amount that I'm giving them. And it says here, delivery status not sent. And um, this is the settlement dates, etc., which you have inputted yourself. Now, there may be a bit of a shortfall in the system where it doesn't send it on your behalf through the system. And sometimes you'll have to download it by going through this process over here um, by clicking on the download option and then you can send it on an email to them. So it comes in the form of a PDF form. Okay, so you can still use that as an alternative option if the email did not send properly. And this is the PDF document that was downloaded where you can see the information related to your company and the information related to the customers, um, information and then the service line or the product line and any banking details that you have put onto the system. So that's that's basically the, the sales code that's been created for you. And then you can pre-fill all the things that you see on the sales quote or performer invoice. Um, 
already so you don't have to keep doing that and that's all done in the configuration tab under the settings and you can place all of the information about your company you could attach your logo and you can save that so that whenever these documents are populated the template is already there and likewise you can continue by having certain um, email standard emails that you'd like to put through and then at the bottom over here still under configuration you can then see how many documents you have been you've created thus far and right now i've used that example of the sales quote so it does reflect over here how many sales quote that you do have created so that is the very quick training session on how to use the sales quote on fnb instant accounting it is very simple and straightforward and you can use it or if you want if you're comfortable using excel as a means of um, creating your invoices and quotes you can still do that and if you do have any questions or related to fnb instant accounting when you do get stuck you can send an email to instant accounting at fnb.co.za and they will assist you or direct you on how to resolve your problems so thank you for watching this video and please hit subscribe and to see more content like this thank you have a wonderful day further